the next thing to do is build our structural models or model and we're going to start with mediation but first we need to build the model so let's go back to Amos now there are two different ways to do this like I said before let me show you the hard way it's actually the more rigorous way I shouldn't say the hard way it is harder um, but it is also more rigorous what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the covariance arrows between all of the um, endogenous variables and anything else. So anything that has a regression arrow coming into it, for example, usefulness, enjoyment, information acquisition, and decision quality, all of those are going to become uncovaried. This is kind of a painful process. Click, 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 click. I'm going to pause and just do all of them. Okay, that's done. Next thing to do is to move things around a little bit. I'm going to use this little fire truck and make things symmetrically move. Move this usefulness over here, joy over here, independent variables over here. You know, I might change the uh, interface properties as well. Oh, that's decision quality, info acquisition, comp use over here. I'm going to change things around a bit. Diagram, where is it? View, interface properties. Let's make this landscape. Apply, close. Okay, there we go. Got some more room. Sorry, that's really small, I know. Um, and the usefulness is in the middle. Joy is in the middle. Decision quality and info quality, or info acquisition. And then what we do is we'd start drawing regression lines between all of the variables like this and I'm just going to do the fully mediated model to start just to show you because I'm actually going to move over to the uh, composites for the remainder of this because it's a lot simpler and then we need to add errors to all endogenous variables name those errors and then save as SEM hybrid that's the full latent model and run it just to prove that it does run please run I think it ran there we go it did run and you can see the values here so that's good I'm not going to use this full model. Um, oh, in fact, when I did this, I should have retained the common latent factor since we did have uh, common method bias issues. I apologize. So at the beginning, I deleted the big, tall CLF. I should have retained that since we have some issues with common method bias. That's another reason I like to use uh, the composite model because CLF is already computed in it when you do uh, the imputing of the factors, the CLF is retained and it's uh, it's accounted for in the estimation of those new composites. So I'm going to just move on over to that. File new. Go grab the data. Which one do I want? The one with the underscore C. Okay. And I'll just click here and drag them on out. Oh boy, they're way at the bottom. Here we go. Play, joy, useful. Info acquisition, decision quality, atypical use, comp use, and info acquisition. Okay, we can start with that. Let me just make sure they're in the same order here. Playfulness, comprehensive, atypical. Playfulness should actually be here. Oh, how did I get there, that there twice? Okay, and then usefulness joy. Oh, and this should also go up here in the middle. And then info decision quality. Great. Now I can make it a little prettier. You know what I could even do is resize observed. Now they're all the same size. Okay, so I would draw the model the same way as I did before which I will do off camera, make things a little faster. And then I'll come back. And there we go. 
So this model is essentially the same model as this one, except we're missing a couple things. Some controls to start with. What do we do with controls? We stick them in from the very beginning. So controls are gender. Where's oh age and education. Now each of these, whoa, yikes. Um, I'll fix that. Okay, get rid of the variable label. That'll fix it. And resize. Plugins resize. Okay. We include the controls from the beginning. Um, each of these is a fairly convenient control. Age is continuous, just like these guys. Well, it's a variable that has numeric meaning. As I increase the construct value, I increase my age. So it makes sense. Same with education. The higher the number, the higher the education. Gender is slightly different, right? If I increase the number of the gender value, I don't have more or less gender. Um, that's just silly. But luckily, gender is binary. It's a 0 or a 1 or a 1 or a 2, um, something like that. There are only two possible values. So we can actually include it in a regression, uh, in a structural equation model like this without doing anything fancy to it. If it were another type of variable like um, industry or department or uh, religion, ethnicity, something with multiple categorical uh, values that did not have meaningful numeric um, value, so an increase in religion value, for example, doesn't mean you have more religion, it just means you're a different religion. For example, if Buddhists were a 5 and Jewish were a 3, the Buddhist would be, um, you know, have a higher value, but it doesn't actually mean you have more religion if you're a Buddhist. So, what you'd have to do with those is create dummy variables. I'm not going to teach you about those, probably ever. Um, I would just avoid them. <laughs> That's my approach to those kind of variables. So what do you do with controls? You go like this. I want to control for gender on, let's see, you can decide what you want to control for it on. I think I want to control for it on hmm, just the dependents. But you could control for it on any variable. Um, I just ran a study where I actually controlled for it on even the exogenous variables, which then become endogenous and then you have other issues but um, it was something I was allowed to do. Here you go, make it look less ugly. Okay, and let's keep going. Do I need to co-vary these? Well, only if we think that they should be co-varied, like age and education, yeah, those are probably co-varied. The rest of them with these guys, uh, not so important but maybe our modification indices will tell us otherwise. Let's go ahead and save this, save as SEM initial, save. And I am gonna run it to look at model fit and see if I need to co-vary any of these. Looks like it didn't actually run, lovely. Check for incomplete data. Oh, I might have some incomplete there. Let's check. It all ran. Huh, not sure why it yelled at me. Okay. Let's go to model fit. Model fit is terrible. Let's go to modification indices, which we didn't ask for. Output modification indices. Uh, four is fine. And run. Proceed. And look at modification indices. Here we go. Whoa. E3 and E4, 156. Let's see what those are. Three and four, information quality and this or information acquisition and decision quality. Um, those are related. I'm going to covary their error terms instead of adding a regression line between them. Why? Well, because they are related, but I I don't want to. That's not part of my theory. Predicting decision quality with information quality, although that sort of does make sense, I suppose. Um, I want to account for the relationship through their residuals um, without specifically, explicitly theorizing about their relationship. So I just cover their error terms. Dave Kenny says this is okay when you're doing it on the same level. So for example, 
these two could be covariate, and then also these two could be covariate if I wanted to. Um, and that would be fine, as long as I'm consistent. Go back to modification indices. 54 E1 and E2, which is what I just said we could do. So let's go ahead and do that. And run. Yes. Modification indices. Gender and age. That's funny. You know, this study was done at a religious institute where um, <laughs> the women tend to be younger than the men. So, uh, at least they start school earlier. So this actually does make sense um, to some extent. And I'll run it again. Modification indices. And we've just got some leftovers here. Okay. Mm, those are fine. And I see play to info acquisition. And we'll probably get to that later. We'll add that line in. So then our model fit should be close to tolerable. Yeah, look, that's actually really good. 0 0.7, 974, 0.2. And it's actually really good. Great, so we're good there. This is our initial SEM. I'm gonna save it. And now we need to do a mediation check. I'm actually gonna do that in a separate video so that this one doesn't drag on forever.